Phoenix Extended Outrigger is a prefabricated component used in splinting for radial nerve palsy. The outrigger simplifies construction of a low-profile splint which supports a tenodesis grasp and release. Radial nerve injury results in loss of extension at the wrist and MP joints. Functional grasp is impaired because the wrist is unstable. Power of finger flexion is lost as the wrist drops into flexion. In the splint, a static line to the finger loops supports the wrist at neutral and MP joints in extension when finger flexors are relaxed. With active flexion, the fingertips move to the palm, the wrist is lifted into slight extension. Splints are used following radial nerve palsy to maintain range of motion and to aid functional use of the hand as well as to prevent overstretching the denervated muscles. Viewers are encouraged to read the articles by Judy Kolditz and Chris Reynolds describing the evolution of this type of splint and the rationale and techniques for its use. The Phoenix Extended Outrigger Kit contains a dorsal wire support with four adjustable wheels, a 564 inch hex wrench to adjust the wheels, pre-tied 3 inch finger cuffs, and one thumb nut which may be used as a rubber band post. Total weight of the outrigger is 2 ounces. Materials needed but not included are tube stockinette, thermoplastic, and strap materials, static line, string or nylon monofilament. Additional thumb nuts or rivets are needed if these are to be used to attach the outrigger to the thermoplastic. Paper, tape measure, and wax pencil are used in making the splint pattern. Tools and equipment needed are a heat source for simmering water and a net for lifting the thermoplastic, heat gun, scissors, and a punch or drill. First the arm is measured. The dorsal forearm base will rest proximal to the ulnar styloid and 2 to 3 inches distal to the elbow crease, extending beyond mid-lateral. A paper pattern is cut first. The pattern is checked and adjusted as necessary. Then traced onto the thermoplastic using a wax pencil. The thermoplastic will be warmed for cutting. Care is taken to make smooth edges and round corners. This saves time later in finishing the edges. The forearm is covered with tube stockinette. Gravity aids the material to drape and form to the contours of the arm. Proximal and distal edges are slightly flared. Adhesive backed Velcro is added to attach two straps. The outrigger is located so that the most distal point on the curve rests over the midpoint of the proximal phalanx on the middle finger. The curve of the wire is centered over the proximal phalanges of the remaining fingers. The position of the outrigger is marked with a wax pencil. There are two methods to attach the outrigger to the dorsal forearm splint, by thumb nuts or by bonding. If thumb nuts are to be used, four holes are drilled in the thermoplastic. A hole is also drilled for the thumb nuts which serves as a post for the finger loops. Four thumb nuts must be used to ensure stability of the outrigger. Or rivets may be substituted for the thumb nuts.
If the outrigger is to be attached by bond